All right, everyone, here we are with the S&P 500 index, SPX. Before I jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. Hope you guys find this video helpful and informative, and it means you well. To all my subscribers, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your support and recognition to my efforts, as well as your feedback. I hope to continue to relay helpful and informative information and nothing less. Let's jump into this chart. All right. So as we can see here, um, this has had a very bullish run since the fall back in March. And it's just been steadily climbing. And a lot of companies have had to do with this. But behind the scenes, as I've been doing this series, the Fed has been pumping the market, right? We've been receiving the dates the dates are being announced you know on a monthly basis and then they're scheduled and you could see as you can see here in my notes previously on specific dates when the market actually was pumped and it brought it up and so forth i mean to the point that if we zoom in here one of the last pumps happened on this date then it leveled off and then it started to kick start again and you could see that if you want to go ahead and look at it with me the last pump was on the first. If we look for the first, which is right here, um, from the 31st to the first, you can clearly see how it started the day and how it actually had a slight run picked up. And then the momentum continued on to the second, to the point that on the second, it was the highest point reached in the market for the SP 500 hitting new highs. And that right there, was phenomenal and it just quickly dipped i mean to the point that it dipped down to 3348 to 48 cents and then it quickly picked back up with the bears actually loading up on stocks and ending the weekend uh very bullish with hopes of uh bringing this back because it broke through the 50-day moving average it had been doing well before that with an upward momentum and steady and now it just fell to newer lows and it actually leveled off at three four two six three thousand four hundred and twenty six dollars and ninety five cents now this was obviously fear profits or uncertainty um, of a lot of investors depending on what stocks they were in but it this was driven by a lot of tech stocks i mean we saw it over the week we saw it over the last two days, you know, right after Wednesday to Thursday and, and Friday, just uh, the stocks were, were hit hard. And then there was a slight recovery. Now, this can show you how the ones that know about the Federal Reserve pumping, they've created already anticipation to work their way up. So Monday, we're really going to know what's going to happen. So is is it going to kind of you know, continue to work its way up and level off. And then on Tuesday, work its way up and skyrocket to newer highs because that's what usually these pumps do. And as you can see, sometimes when there's such a hard fall, the pumps with the anticipation and motivation of investors, investors would go ahead and, and you know, build the momentum and bring it up. But obviously Monday is not going to be a day that we're going to be seeing. I mean, if we were to see that Monday was like that, this would go in this direction, level off, and then work its way up. But this is not going to open up on Monday for us to see any anticipation. But we can already see how Friday ended. And the anticipation is showing that a lot of investors are motivated and not, you know, lo loss of sight of hope. And, and they have, you know, that anticipation of being bullish. So, Tuesday, right away, we're going to know the effects of the pump. Is it going to bring it up to the point where it levels off? Or is it going to just bring it up to the point that it actually, you know, worked its way up and broke through the 50-day moving average and it's back into bullish territory? And hopefully that momentum can create another upward trend and then we can end up having a staircase effect. So... We're going to have to see directly what goes on on Tuesday because that's the day of the next pump and that's the last pump. And that's something I want to announce in this video for these scheduled pumps. 
So they started this announcement obviously on the 18th um, of August, but the first date that they announced that it was going to start was on the 14th. And they started on August 18th and then the 25th, the 1st, and the 8th. And if we go back to the 18th, right, um, you can clearly see which is what these pumps do. And, and I circled it to show that basically wherever the dates of the pump started in the cycle, you would end up somewhere down here and you're going to end up somewhere in an upward direction, which we ended up at the highest point here. And even if this was to just shoot up to this point, that's still an upward direction in, in the long term of the whole month, right? But um, basically tomorrow's pump, or better said, Tuesday's pump, because tomorrow the market doesn't open yet, um, is going to let us know what is it going to do. And these pumps aren't there for us to make money right off the bat because it doesn't guarantee you money. These pumps just tell you that there's going to be either a continuation of an upward trend and take advantage of riding the wave as from the 18th, obviously, till the next pump, which was on the 1st. There was that opportunity uh, to, to continue riding. And, and then on the second, even if it went up to that peak, if you stopped at the first, you know, just by looking at it, you, you started here and you ended up here, you know, those were profits and that's what these pumps are there for. But in times like these, where there's such a hard drop or even a slight drop, the pumps, what they do is they level off the stock from allowing them to go down to newer lows because the S&P 500 gives us an idea overall of the blue chip stocks. And I like to analyze this directly because it gives you an overall of the 500 Fortune 500 companies and best companies of America that qualify to be part of this index. And also blue chip stocks, American companies that are most likely benefiting from these pumps. I'm not saying that only S&P 500 companies are the ones that benefit from these pumps, but most likely they are the ones to be receiving a portion of what's going on with the Federal Reserve pumping the market. So the most important thing on Tuesday is seeing what is going to happen. Um, I'm also kind of uh, skeptical of the reason that it could go up and quickly people will see it hit a, a, like a slight new high after this recovery and quickly in the afternoon on Tuesday start to sell and bring it back down. So I don't know if that's something that's going to be possible. I hope that investors actually are able to build off of this momentum and use the pump and create more momentum to start to work their way up to newer highs and kind of level off and then go from there and then work their way up the rest of the week and maybe even hit newer highs so that we can start that staircase effect that will then start to continue to bring stocks up in the healthy and obviously upward direction right now with the Federal Reserve pumping the market. But another thing I want to point out, the next one is on the 8th. It's this Tuesday and it's going to be in the morning. But after that, the next scheduled release is actually September 14th. And if we can look here on the calendar, September 14th is almost a whole week later. So on the 8th, there might be a recovery. And if that doesn't allow enough momentum for bulls to feel bullish overall in the market and all these different stocks and these tech stocks and, you know, the S&P 500 and every stock as a whole, um, the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, those are days of uncertainty all the way until Monday to know if they're going to release another scheduled time and dates, which then would probably start, hypothetically speaking, and just based off of what I've seen before, on the 15th, and if they hold it off, maybe on the 17th or on the 22nd, which then can leave a total of, so far, five days without pumps, which can then turn the market into a bearish market because of the uncertainty. If people are guiding themselves based off the Federal Reserve, 
uncertainty for the next five days and not even knowing what scheduled um, pumps are there. Are they going to continue to be the same plus 10 basis points? Is it going to be more? Is it going to be less? And, and so forth. So that right there lets us know that, yes, there's going to be pumps and the next schedule pumps to start is on the 14th. It's going to end this Tuesday. And then there's going to be five days of uncertainty until they release the next one. If there's a released one or if they just tell us, all right, here we stop. But most likely the outlook is looking that the Federal Reserve is going to continue to pump. And that's what we hope because that's going to allow any investor that's been missing out on this opportunity. And that's why I'm here to make this video to join in on this ride in an upward direction because the reason why we're hitting newer highs is yes a lot of companies have been growing and a lot of people are saying that you know each one is having their own bubble that needs to burst and that's another thing that theoretically speaking that people are assuming that some of them kind of bursted if they certainly did then this isn't the end of this fall this is just the beginning and obviously the tuesday pump will let us know how much more it can level this off or if it's not even going to be felt. Imagine the, the market as a whole just be numb to it and it doesn't even do what it's supposed to do, which is level off the stock from falling even further down. Because that's that's literally what the pumps are there for, to stop the, the newer lows and level everything off and allow investors to continue to build that momentum of anticipation and bullish optimism. And then from there, they're able to go ahead and pump again. And with investors being optimistic and Federal Reserve pumping, it just continues to create this effect of an upward direction as we've been seeing. But um, Tuesday is going to be a day that's going to be very interesting. And the rest of this upcoming week, I want to go ahead and emphasize that to all viewers. This upcoming week is very important to pay very close attention to how the market is behaving. I'm also feeling like the pump might rise up. And if this doesn't happen on the same day, Tuesday, we're probably gonna see it on Wednesday if people are feeling rocky and uncertain because 9th, 10th, 11th, and the 14th, there's no pump. And on the 14th, we're gonna know if there's one on the 15th, if it's gonna be on the 17th, or if it's gonna be on the 22nd to start. And if it's on the 22nd, that's almost two weeks of no pumps, which in reality is going to start to show in the market itself. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's some days that there's sell off or obviously um, the bears are taking over due to fear, uncertainty and people just saying, all right, well, this is the highest I've seen this stock in a while. Let me clock out and take profits now and I'll jump back in once I really have an idea and I know. So very interesting week upcoming. I just wanted to go ahead and do this video to inform you guys. If you guys use these tools and this information such as the dates of the pumps, which I'm going to continue to do it if you guys are a first time viewer and feel inclined and, you know, encouraged to subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell and turn on all notifications so that you don't miss out a single chart analysis that I make. Even if you're not in that chart, it's always good to go ahead and receive more information and more knowledge and even open your perspective to a stock that you may have overlooked. And if this interests you and this information is good for you, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications so that you don't miss my weekly videos on this. And you guys can go ahead and know what's going to happen on the 14th and if the next schedule release date has been published so that we can go ahead and see what are the next pump dates but for now we're gonna have to see how this plays out tuesday's really gonna let us know what the pump is gonna do is it gonna level it off bring it even back up past the 50-day moving average or just slightly make it uh rise up again to level off and end the day strong like that but then if it doesn't slightly fall again on Tuesday itself, my biggest fear is that the, the fall is gonna come Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, 
later that week, which is going to make it very interesting to pay close attention to because if people don't know when the next pump is and people have been guiding themselves through these pumps, especially um, high uh, level investors and, and these big these big hedge funds and all of these big players obviously have been using this information to take advantage, get in at one point and get out at a higher point. And believe it or not, these pumps do make people depending on the shares that they get and the amount, you know, but just per share, anywhere between 50 cents to $2 per share, depending on the company and maybe even more. And if you hold through, you know, after a couple of days, it could even make you more profits per share. And that's what these pumps are here for to level it off. But if we time them right as investors and make our own rational decisions, and I'm here to not tell you guys to buy. I'm not here to tell you guys to sell. I'm not here to tell you guys to hold, but make your own rational decisions and do your due diligence and research based off of what I'm informing you guys. You guys will be able to see in the charts that on the scheduled dates, such as, and I'm going to post it up again, on the 18th, on the 25th, on the 1st, and on the 8th, of these last couple of days, which the 8th hasn't came yet, but you're going to see how it reacts. It's going to slightly jump up and we're going to see if it levels it off or if it quickly falls right back down because people are still shaky and the optimism of the bulls is kind of being lost of sight and uh, they, they need to gain it back for this to continue this upward trend. But we're going to have to see. I have a feeling that it's going to turn out something like this. I'm not one to predict or say what's going to happen, but just based off of the chart, and the information this could slightly happen and fairly quickly and if it doesn't happen on tuesday it's going to happen at some point in the week once people realize that there is not another pump and we're going to have to see if this can hold itself up because if people quickly lose a uh, sight of the optimism and the hope this could probably break down to newer lows past the lows that we just recently saw to the point that the stock is now on its way down in this direction now if there's going to be new release dates and people know about it and stuff you'll see that either on friday or monday you could start seeing the anticipation of the investors and they'll start to bring this one back up so we're gonna have to see how this all plays out i'm not saying that this is cor correctly how it's going to happen but just with the uncertainty level and as an investor myself I feel like it's going to be slightly rocky this upcoming week, especially after what we just saw and people know there's another pump. And honestly, that pump might just level it off. And the question is, will it level it off and be able to break through, right? And go in this direction or will it level off and create this uh, slight sell off and people taking quick profits, taking advantage of the pump and getting out of the market fairly quickly and just riding those waves. We're going to see how this plays out. Hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. Share us with your friends and community. Don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watched this video. And thank you guys so much for watching.